Hi, I'm Jamie Isaac, and welcome to us all fit retreat. Despite all the comforts that come with modern life, it really is tough physically on our bodies. We're, we're designed to move, and yet we spend a lot of time in prolonged periods of time working at a desk or sitting behind the wheel of a car, amongst other things. And this puts us in this flexed position, which I, I, I talk about as being devolution in terms of if we came from this position to being upright and now we seem to be headed back there. So the stress that this can have on your body in, in terms of the muscles, it, muscles tighten as the neck protracts forward, you get that stress in the back of the neck, you maybe get this tightening of, of your hip flexors, which puts stress not only on, on your breathing, but also your, your back as well. Internally, you got to think about how that affects our internal organs and the way they, they work, as well as our neural pathways. So the onset of this ends up in either long-term issues such as pain, herniated discs. Also, it can affect us in a way that it just creates more stress and we don't get a chance to burn that stress off. But do not worry, help is at hand. Just some very simple exercises, very simple movements, and you can apply them to your everyday, it will have a huge positive impact on not just your work in life, making you uh, a lot more efficient, but also on your day to day life and how you feel. So what are these tips? I would always start by saying, move. Basically we are designed to move and life is putting us in these positions where we don't feel like we have the opportunity. So we've got to find opportunity to move. So the first thing I always recommend, and being an Englishman, I, this is close to my heart, make a cup of tea. Make tea, make coffee for other people in your work environment. It gets you up out of your seat, you get to walk, you get to move. You then become very popular because you're that person that takes, takes care in other people in the workplace. But also, maybe while the kettle's boiling or you're waiting for the drinks to be made, you can do some movements of your own right there. Squats, lunges, twists and turns, anything that gets the body moving safely in the opposite direction to how you've been sat. Mm. The second thing is to find the time. And to do that, I recommend either putting a timer on your computer or something on your watch that goes off every 30 minutes, if 30 minutes is too soon, maybe every hour, which reminds you to get up and do these movements. To support all of these exercises, breathe. Reminding yourself to breathe, it sounds really obvious, but we tend to get a little tight and a little rounded, and we breathe shallow shoulder breaths, like so. And all that does is increase our levels of stress. So good deep belly breaths or big wide rib breaths will work wonders. Maybe take 10 breaths or breathe simply as you're doing these exercises. And on to the movements. <clears throat> Let's start from the neck down. The first thing I'd like to do is maybe get the neck moving. We're sitting with the head forward, maybe looking at a screen. So, so start by drawing the shoulders back. And just simply, and it is the, all these are very, very simple, turn the head to one side. And be sure as you turn the head that you pull the opposite shoulder back. So draw that opposite shoulder back, turn the head, feel that lovely stretch through the side of the neck and into the chest, come to the center, and we repeat on the other side. And you can hold those for 10, 30 seconds. If time's really tight, then even just a simple movement of the neck, it's all going to have a positive effect. So having turned to the right, turn to the left with your neck, other things that we can do here to really help. One is we could do that same exercise, that same twist, and just add a little pressure onto our jaw just to take the stretch just a little bit deeper. And we could do that on both sides. I also like the idea of lengthening up through the back of the neck, lowering the chin down, and we're just going to roll it to one shoulder and back to the other shoulder and then come back to sit tall. And then the last stretch, which is really nice, you can get your, yourself involved with this as well. You're just going to take your hand on the opposite side of the head and just very gently, 
very gently. We were dealing with the neck, so it's always gentle. We're just going to give a little stretch. So the shoulder is pulling down and the neck is being lengthened away from it. And we'll do the other side here as well. And if you want to add a little resistance, you can actually push your head back into your hand and that can really, really stretch the muscles and give them a little strength at the same time. Moving down from the neck, I bring us into the, the shoulders. <clears throat> Simply, if you're staying seated, just circling the shoulders around is a great start. Brings some mobility into the shoulders, de-stresses the neck muscles, and just allows you to feel a little freer. If you have more space, then move your arms with that. You can move in both directions. And breathe again as we're doing that. And that feels really good. Then moving on from here, let's get into the wrists. Now the wrists take a lot of abuse these days when we're using computer mouses, we're typing. So think about what you can do for your wrists. I like to start by just moving. Remember motion is lotion. So even just circling the wrists in both directions. I link, link the fingers together is a nice one. Okay, and then from here, we can sort of stretch the shoulders and the wrists. And this is getting into the back of my shoulders. So I can breathe here into the back of my, my ribs. And then I maybe turn the hands the other way and push my hands away. And that's doing a lovely stretch down the whole of the arm. Reach and push and just hold. As space allows, maybe we take that stretch up. Oh, that feels amazing. And maybe we stretch out as well. So it's very, very simple stretches. But basically, the, the common rule of thumb is whatever position you find yourself in, just move in the opposite direction and bring some balance to your body. In terms of uh, stretching the arms, it can be a really nice way of, of opening up all the neural pathways through the arm into the shoulder and the muscles as well. If you've got something you can rest your arm on and you can reach to, then why not? Just open them up a little more and add a little pressure into that. You can push a little into that solid surface and that really does stretch the chest which allows the shoulders to rotate back into their correct alignment and will, will free up a lot of that tension in the wrist as well. So we're using these 10 seconds, 30 seconds or a little longer if you can at intervals of either 30 minutes or an hour. <clears throat> Moving down the body we get into the spine now. So if we're sat and we still have to stay seated, sit nice and tall. You've rolled your shoulders back, your neck's nice and stretched out. Take a hold of your chair or a firm surface. Lift up tall, take an inhale. And as you exhale, just assist yourself, very gently just guide yourself into a really nice nourishing twist. And you can stay here for a while, breathing in, growing taller, exhaling twisting deeper and then we repeat on the other side so once again just get a good grip on either the desk or if you only have your body then you can push against your your knee and your back and just lift tall and exhale and just twist and this really rings out the internal organs it gives that spine that really nice nourishing feeling of being stretched and moved and, and that can have wonders with how you're feeling and, and releasing and relaxing the muscles a little. Moving on from here, I would recommend us to stand up. Now, we don't all have that luxury. But if you do have the time and you have the space and you aren't able to run and go and make everybody cups of tea, then stand up. So once standing, it's a case of following that same rule of thumb, which is to take your body in the opposite direction. I like to take the feet wide, opening up the hips at the front. You can already feel a little stretch happening here. Take the arms wide if you can, and just have a nice stretch. This is a great stretch that you could do whilst waiting for the kettle to boil if you're not someone who's too embarrassed by other people looking at you doing strange things. But reaching the arms wide, open the jaw, open the throat, and take a nice deep breath here. We can also lunge, stepping forward with one foot and just turning onto the toes of the other. Just bring that, bend that knee forward and just feel your heel push in the opposite direction. And instantly we're stretching into the hips. And these tend to get very tight and very weak due to our seated position. So this can be super helpful. 
hands on hips or hands holding something and just allow yourself to kind of deepen that stretch opening the chest as well another thing I like to do place the hands on the small of the back to support the back roll the shoulders backwards so that your sternum lifts forwards and upwards and you're just going to draw your elbows together and just arch the back into extension which is the exact opposite of the state that we've been in. So I hope these exercises are helpful. Uh, let me know how you're getting on with them. If you think of any others yourselves, please send them to us or tag us in on social media and show us how you're stretching or how you're moving at your workplace. And together we can unite and fight the devolution.